Hi and welcome to my maths class. What we're doing is we're trying to solve by using inclination. If the following question says calculate the value of theta. Now theta is basically on top. How do we solve theta when all we have are the following coordinates? Now when you see these coordinates, as I marked it, you will notice minus 3 and 2 and 3 are linked to this line. Now if I can link two coordinates to a line, that means I can get gradient. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by getting the gradient of this green line. Let's mark it AB. Right, so if I can get the gradient of AB, that's a start, so we're going to start the M of AB. You know it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If this is minus 3, my coordinate is minus 3 and 0 because it's on the x-intercept. Right, if we're going to substitute, we're going to have 0 minus 3 over minus 3 minus 2, which is equal to minus 3 over minus 5, giving me a gradient of 3 over 5. If I have a gradient, I can get an angle. Now the angle runs from the right to the left, from the positive to the negative, which means I can get this specific angle called beta. So I have 10 beta is equal to 3 over 5. You're going to press shift 10. Let's rounding off to a whole degree. So I have B is equal to 31 degrees. Since it's in positive, I know I'm only working with 31 degrees. Now let's look at the next two points we have. We have A and then we have the coordinate 4, which is falling on this line, which we can make C. So now we can get the gradient of AC. Again, we're marking it. This is going to be 4 and 0 because it's on the x-intercept. We have this as our x2, y2. So our gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remember, you're doing gradient by simply looking at these points and substituting. Now, that gives us a gradient of minus 3 over 2. So our m of ac is equal to minus 3 over 2. If we're looking for the inclination, if we start from the right hand side and we move towards the left, it is our alpha. So we have 10 of alpha is equal to minus 3 over 2. Pressure shift 10, 3 over 2, which is equal to, again, let's round off to a whole number, 56 degrees. But since it is a negative, I know it's in the second quadrant, so I'm going to say 180 minus 56 degrees, which is equal to 124 degrees. Now let us see what we have. We have this beta is equal to 31 degrees. We have that alpha is equal to 124 degrees. 31, 124. Look at the shape you have. You have 31 degrees. You have 124 degrees. This is a grade 9 rule. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles, which means 31 plus theta would equal to 124. 31 plus theta is equal to 124 degrees. This is your normal algebra rule. So what they've done is they've taken trig to calculate alpha and beta. Now they're simply going to your normal standard geometry, which is actually grade 8 and grade 9 work. 
So we simply say theta is equal to 124 minus 31, which would make theta equal to 93 degrees. Remember, from this step, it is grade 8 and 9 work. So they expect you to know this work. Thank you for watching.